And the urgent rescue effort in Haiti ahead of the tropical depression that is bearing down on the island. Rob Marciano standing by with details. The images tell a story of devastation. Thousands of homes destroyed, according to initial government reports. A state of emergency declared as the death toll rises to at least 1,200. Some buildings collapsing into rubble. Crews and residents trying to get to anyone who may still be trapped. Today, the U.S. Coast Guard helping to evacuate some of the injured. Many residents sleeping in tents with nowhere else to go or fearful that their homes could still collapse. The 7.2 quake centered in a rural area already difficult to reach, made even more so by new damage to roads and infrastructure. ABC's chief national correspondent Matt Gutman is in Haiti for us tonight. Tonight in western Haiti, the desperate search underway after Saturday morning's earthquake reduced many buildings to rubble, trapping an untold number of people beneath. At least 1,297 people are now dead, and the wound of an entire nation has once again been torn open. And with hundreds more still missing, it's a race against time. Saturday 7.2 quake was even more powerful than that devastating earthquake that killed more than a quarter of a million people here in Haiti. Now this quake struck in a much more rural area, but the roads to get there are now nearly impassable. There's tangled debris on the roadways and there are gangs roaming those roadways, allegedly hijacking aid convoys. Still, foreign rescue teams flooding in to provide aid logistics getting to this area are extremely challenging and dangerous at times. So we're really working and, and hoping um, uh, for safe passage for humanitarians is guaranteed. Makeshift hospitals being formed in the open air. Mark Donald and his family have been using their personal van as an ambulance to help rescue residents. The hospital has been really packed and um, we've been uh, taking people from the airport coming from Port-au-Prince. We can even count how many people we've been helping. And from the ruins, there have been moments of hope and anguish. <laughs> Hours after the quake, a woman and child pulled from the rubble alive. <laughs> but as night fell, this mother, Oxaline Merenci, overtaken with grief. The body of her seven-year-old daughter, Esther Danielle, recovered. More than 3,500 homes destroyed, many now living out of makeshift tents. <laughs> And the earthquake has placed further strain on the nation's already strapped resources. We don't have electricity. Uh, for now, we don't have water. Phone lines are also down. This Haitian community in Columbus, Ohio, trying to reach their loved ones. I have my sister, my cousin, my brother, my uncle, and I really worry because I don't know if they're on life or what happened to them. Lindsay, the people waiting here are the injured waiting for transport to Port-au-Prince. And it seems that Haiti can't catch a break. Its president was assassinated last month. There is COVID here, and now a tropical depression is bearing down on the region. Lindsay. A series of crises all at once, Matt. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.